Hi, welcome to today's video. Uh, I thought I'd finally do an updated my favorite art supplies because it's been a long time since I did the other one and you guys seem to really like that one. If you've been on my channel for a while, you might have noticed that my goals and kind of where I want to be as an artist has shifted over the past year. I just, I think I'm in a different place artistically and so my favorite art supplies will probably reflect that. Also, in today's video, I'm drawing Neil Gaiman. There's no real reason. I've been drawing a lot of feminine characters, so I wanted to draw I wanted to draw an older guy to kind of shake things up. But yeah, first off, let's talk about sketchbooks. When I was making the last video, sketchbooks really didn't have a role in my art practice. At the time, I only really used them when I wanted to make like a one-off drawing and I didn't have anywhere else to put it. But starting in May in 2023, I started using them again and it just, it literally changed everything. If you want to know more about that, you can check any of my sketchbook tours out. But since returning to sketchbooks, I've almost filled five of them. I haven't found a sketchbook yet that's perfect for what I want, but I have found a few that I think are really nice. My first recommendation is the Strathmore Mixed Media Sketchbook. I believe this is series two and the paper is really nice. It's got like a little bit of a tooth to it. And the size is great, but it's a little pricey. It's like $25 for only 64 pages, which I get happens when you have nicer paper, but I fill sketchbooks so quickly, I can't be spending $25 each time. But I think if you wanted a book to make nicer finished pieces in, I think this would be a really good option. My second favorite would actually be the books I've made myself. I haven't done this in a while, but I would hand bind sketchbooks just in like the most basic binding method I could find. And I would use the Strathmore colored pencil paper. I don't know what it is about that paper, but it's just so nice to sketch on. Again, it has a little bit of a tooth to it, but it also like can hold watercolors and wet mediums decently. It can handle pretty much anything you want to do in a sketchbook pretty well. I definitely need to see if they have any bigger sheets of it to see if I can try to make like an 8x10 size sketchbook one day, maybe. While we're on the topic of sketchbooks, I'm going to go over some of my favorite tools to sketch with. First is just a basic big pen. I like them particularly because you can get a wide range of values with them. It's like almost like drawing with graphite, just without the fear of smudging it or getting it all over your hands. I have this one sketchbook you haven't seen yet where I did almost all my stuff in graphite. And so when you open it, even with like I tried hairspray, I tried fixative, but if you open it up now, the drawings are barely there. So that's why I don't really use graphite that much. And ballpoint pens are waterproof, so you can add a little bit of watercolor to them if you want. Next are the Prismacolor Cole Erase Colored Pencils. As you can tell by the name, they're colored pencils you can erase with. I use these a lot in my videos, I get a couple questions on them, so they erase pretty well, not perfectly, but most erasable things don't erase all the way either. There's a pretty wide range of colors and I use these when I want to do more detailed work in my sketchbooks. Next, this is kind of new, I got it for Christmas from one of my friends, but it's the Uniball Signo DX. I don't know what it is about this pen I like compared to other ones, but I just love it. It's really nice to sketch with when I want to focus on having like precise and nice line quality. In my sketchbooks, I also really love to do these warm-ups with just a brush and ink. I just use the Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay India ink. I haven't tried many ink brands. I used a different one that was water-based and I didn't like it as much, so that's why I stick to this one. This is my Speedball fountain pen. I got it for Inktober last year, and I'm still not very good with it yet. I really enjoy the variety of the line weight you can get with this. I mainly use it when I'm warming up or I'm doing like life drawing. It's just, it's fun to go fast and I feel like it helps me see the form of whatever I'm drawing better. For inking, which I don't do too often, but I really like these Kuratake pens that I received from a Zenpop box. The variety and line weight you can achieve is just really nice. When I'm not working in my sketchbook, my favorite way to make art is in Procreate on my iPad Pro. My favorite brushes are Gouache-ish by Cryptozoology and Matt's Painting Set by Mateus Urbanowix. I use that Matt's painting set for like 90% of what I do. Specifically, the add line detail brush. It's so nice. Another new art supply I've gotten into is the Himi Jelly Gouache. I used to hate gouache for the longest time. I just, I didn't understand it, but there's a few artists I follow online that just make the coolest stuff with it. So I really wanted to try it out again. I'm not all that great yet, but 
the variety of colors in the set is so nice, and it doesn't hurt that it comes in a cute case. I don't use watercolors that much anymore, but I have narrowed down my collection into this little Altoids tin. It has the necessities, although my Ultramarine is running low. These are all core watercolors, which are my favorite brand. It's a lot easier to get out this little tin rather than get out my giant set, but I still use that if I'm doing something more involved. And I don't do too much oil painting much anymore, so my setup has kind of stayed the same. I think the only other medium I use is colored pencils. My favorite for a long time were Prismacolors, which I still have a nice collection of, but I think from now on, if I were to purchase any more, it'll probably be Faber-Castell. I have this little tin I've shown a hundred times, and I don't know why I like them much more, plus it's nice that these are easy to travel around with. But yeah, um, that's everything. I think it might be less stuff than the last video, but I've just been working in sketchbooks so much more, I haven't really done too much with different mediums, but some quick channel things. Thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers. If you saw my art resolutions video, you'll know I set 2,000 subscribers as my goal for the whole year, so that's pretty insane. I'm just, I'm so blown away and really grateful for all your support and all the comments you guys leave and just everything. It's very cool, so thank you. I already had this one planned, but next week's video is going to be kind of my celebration of that. I'm going to be going over my art journey so far. I think I'm going to have to split it up in two parts. So next week you'll hear about how I started out with art as a little elementary schooler, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!